and Public Health, uh, Dayton Montgomery County is now working with the RTA to get mobile vaccine buses to areas across the county still in need of vaccination. Two News reporter Madeline Ashley continues our coronavirus coverage, highlighting the importance of bringing vaccines to people who might not be able to travel to other clinics. Mark Brooke, I'm outside of one of two vaccine clinics that have happened today, both at churches and church members tell me, sorry guys, it's a little windy. They tell me that um, it's ideas like this that keeps people protected from COVID-19. Health officials continue their push to get people vaccinated, especially in low resource areas. And one of the reasons uh, we leaped at this is because there weren't a lot of opportunities for the residents of West Dayton. Working with Public Health Dayton Montgomery County, Macedonia Missionary Baptist Church offering their parking lot to RTA vaccine buses. I really believe COVID-19 and the pandemic has forced the church to sort of pivot and come outside the walls of the church. So we see this being the hands and feet of Jesus. This is the mission, not only of Macedonia, but really on a, on a global level of the body of Christ in the church at large. With two vaccine seats, the buses offer a choice of Pfizer or Johnson & Johnson. I want to be as safe as possible, me, my children, grandchildren, and family members, and I'm ready to get out of living in COVID-19 world. After getting her first Pfizer dose, Alice Miller grateful for the simplicity of the RTA vaccine bus. I'm recommending everybody that I know to come up here and get it done because the atmosphere is friendly, cool, um, it's a blessing. Macedonia Pastor Jarvis A. Ellis Sr. encouraging more people to take advantage. So hop on the bus, get the vaccine. It is painless and uh, it's doing your part. If you really, the Bible says, if you love your neighbor as yourself, do your part to express your love for your neighbor. Public health workers say there will be several vaccine mobile buses out next week, but those times and dates have not yet been released. Once we learn those, we'll keep you up to date on that. Live in Dayton, Madeline Ashley, 5 on 2.